Let us now pray the Regina Celi. Queen of heaven, rejoice, alleluia. For he whom you did marry to bear, alleluia, has risen as he said, alleluia. Pray for us to God, alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, alleluia. For the Lord is truly risen, alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who gave joy to the world, to the resurrection of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, grant we beseech you that through the intercession, intercession of the Virgin Mary, his mother, we may obtain the joys of everlasting life through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Prayer before the Mass Almighty and ever-living God, I approach the sacrament of yours, only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. I come sick to the doctor of life, unclean to the fountain of mercy, blind to the radiance of eternal light, and poor and needy. To the Lord of heaven and earth, Lord, in your great generosity, heal my sickness, wash away my defilement, enlighten my blindness, enrich my poverty, and clothe my nakedness. May I receive the bread of angels, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, with humble reverence, with the purity and faith, and the repentance and love, and the determined purpose that will help to bring me to salvation. May I receive the sacrament of your Lord's body and blood, and its reality and power. Kind God, may I receive the body of your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, born from the womb of the Virgin Mary, and so be received into his mystical body and numbered among his members. Loving Father, as on my earthly pilgrimage, I now receive your beloved Son under the veil of a sacrament. May I one day see him face to face in glory, who lives and reigns with you forever. Amen. Please stand. Sing to the Lord with shouts of joy. Let all creation rejoice. Come join the song of praise to our God. Peace the Lord, peace the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates that had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, as the prisoners listened, there was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open, and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and, and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in and, trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal and with his household rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When you called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia. Nagkikinig ako sa iyong mga salita Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Lord be with you And with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asked me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, grief has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, 
the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. Sin because they do not believe in me. Righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me. Condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Love is to be present and express that love in words and action to make it credible. But I tell you the truth. It is better for you that I go. For if I do not go, the advocate will not come to you. It is through the Spirit of Christ that He can continue to be with us, His people, at all times and in any place on earth. Although the disciples did not want Jesus to go, Jesus should go and come back through the Spirit. And the Spirit will show the world how wrong it was about sin. That is, the Spirit will reveal the wrongness of the world that does not put its trust in the way of Jesus. We are all called to a fullness of life that is only realized in our relationship with God. Relationship with God means to be present with God and to truly express that presence in, in words and in action to make us credible that we truly relate with God. My dear friends in Christ, let us ask then that Jesus be ever present in our midst through the Holy Spirit who dwells in the church and our hearts. Please stand. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. Every after petition, we say, Lord, send us your spirit. Lord, send us your spirit. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witnesses of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That we may give our best to do what is right and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your spirit. That we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, send us your Spirit, that the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, send us your Spirit. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your Spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us, and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more. The Lamb, once slain, who lives forever, therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exult in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, Heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall. 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ricardo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day As we forgive those who press us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. But us fears. Please name. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this holy, most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. Kumayot ihayag ko rin siya At ating ibunyag awitan siya Pagliligtas ng Diyos na sa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Lahit at lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangalan Ating pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos at tandaan Alleluia Please kneel Prayer before the crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with your burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the word that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. Day in all dear mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And the special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of Piat, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> 